Okay, I'm doing a 30 year history of uh, compound bows. This one here is from 1980. It's a Browning X9B. It has some interesting features like these little things here. Two of them that go into the wood riser. The rest is this little stair that goes on there. This bow for its day was pretty high tech and it was very short. This bow was considered to be extremely short and only 40 inches long. It doesn't have much let off at all. And there's something else they did unusual on this site is the way they did the, what well, unusual on the bows, the way they did the sights. You can also see that the had teardrops on the string here. This was typical for this period. The bow has a brace height of 9 inches. I chronographed it with a 430 grain arrow. Want 220 feet per second on a 70 pound pole. Anyways, this was cutting 1980 bow technology. State of the art. Next we go to 1990 bow technology and I have the uh, Bow Bear Pro Specialist Super 65. When this bear bow came out it had some neat features like there was the string was solid there was no connecting it. The bow is 45 inches long which was typical size for bows back then. I chronograph this at, with a 430 grain arrow at 235 feet per second. That's 70 pound pole, 29 inch draw. Next we go to 2000 and we have a Hoyt Carbonite. What was really spectacular about this bow was a huge cams and split limb design. This bow shot 275 feet per second with a 430 grain arrow. You can see the split limbs, that was real big then. Next we go to 2010. Next we go to 2010, we have the Bowtech Destroyer 350. It has parallel limbs that oppose each other, which is a very nice feature. They're much larger cams than the one that was 10 years earlier. This bow with a 430 grain arrow shot 305 feet per second. Features on the bow is they made the risers much lighter in the last 10 years. Anyways, this will be interesting to see what comes out 10 years from now.